Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So here I have some brand new 3D printer. And the 3D printer which I have here is this Ender 3 V2 Neo. The Neo version is some upgraded version of the Ender 3 Pro or the Ender 3 V2. And I get this one from online store geekbuying.com. But more details about the link where you can get this printer will be in the description of this video. And I will also add some coupon code that you can get this printer at a really good price. So, like you see, I already assembled this printer and I need around 15 minutes to fully assemble the printer. After assembling, make sure that the bed will not wobble because on my first time the bed wobbles like crazy. Uh, and also make sure that you tightening this belt and this one. Uh, tightening the belts is really easy because here you have this belt tensioner. And also this one. Very nice. And if the bed is wobbling, then you need to adjust this and over this eccentric screw. After all this, you are ready to turn on the printer. So the power button is over here. Here you have this screen. So this one is not the touch screen that you can move here on this menu, you need to use this knob. Here are the files uh, which you have on micro SD card. Here you have some settings. 
like cooldown, preheat, PLA, Z offset, auto home, and so on. Here you have more settings the temperature uh, of the nozzle, temperature of the bed, fan speed, and so on. Here you will calibrate your steps. If you calibrate your steps, then you need to also store configuration. And here the last is the leveling. If I press on this leveling, then the printer will start this auto level. After auto leveling, you need to adjust the Z offset. I already adjust the Z offset, but I will show you anyway. So you go to here, and here you have your Z offset. Use some paper that you can feel how close is this hot end to the bed. So at this stage the hot end is too close to the bed. So I cannot push this paper between. So actually this will be my offset. When you have your offset, you click and that's it. And now you are actually ready to print your files. So this and that we with you Neo is good printer. Uh, actually I will not say that this one is the best printer, uh, but definitely this one is some really good starting printer for this budget. And like I said in the beginning, this new version is some upgraded version of the classic and the 3 Pro or the Ender 3 V2. So here I have this Ender 3 Pro and this one was my first 3D printer two years ago. And still to this day this printer works really really great. And yeah definitely I don't have any attention to replace this printer anytime soon. Yeah but I make several upgrades to this machine like here I put on these belt tensioners so, so here I replace the extruder and so on so this machine right now is really noisy uh, because uh, this and that we pro don't have this silent motherboard uh, but anyway this and that we pro works really really great for my job but on the other hand, this new version has already all the upgrades. So for example, here are the belt tensioners, some metal extruder, also this one has this CR touch for the bed leveling, uh, upgraded screen because this and we Pro have this old uh, screen, but this one have already this upgraded version. Uh, this one also have this silent motherboard. The only noisiest thing on this printer is this fan. Here. And for the last, this one have also some upgraded version of the hot end. This one is the old one. And this one is the new one. And I also note something that this frame and also these plastics are really identical to the plastics and the frame of this Ender 3 S1. So you see this 
in this plastic and the frame. Which means that this Ender 3 V2 Neo can be some hybrid between the Ender 3 Pro and the Ender 3 S1. Or better to say, this will be the father, this will be the mother, and this will be the baby. Yeah. And for the last, of course, the price. The price is really important factor if you're buying some 3D printer. This Ender 3 V2 Neo costs around 210 euros if you are buying from geekbuying.com and you also use the discount code which you will find in the description of this video. I also search for the prices of this printer from other online stores. The geekbuying.com have the lowest price for this type of printer. And they also ship really fast, especially here in Europe. That's it and we see us in the next video. Bye.